What's up guys, it's Luke, and today I'm going to show you how to make a video intro, uh, like the one that I use at the start of my videos, specifically in iMovie 09. Now these are really easy to make, so let's get on with it. Now in the intro on my videos, there are just three elements to it. It's a background picture, a sound clip, and a text field. So the first thing I'm going to do is drag the picture I want to use as the background into iMovie. And I've got it here on the desktop, I'm just going to drag it over here and drop it in. Now, if you take notice of the intro in my videos, you'll notice that the background image isn't static. It actually moves a bit, and we do that by using Ken Burns. Um, what you want to do is adjust it so the starting crop is quite a bit smaller than the end one, or you can do it the other way around. You can have it big, go into small, or you can do it small to big, it's up to you. So that's a pretty big change there. We've got it quite, we've got the whole image here when it starts, and it's going to slowly crop itself to that by the end of the clip and I believe it's four seconds long by default so let's hit done and see what that looks like yep it's looking pretty good as you can see it's zooming in and cropping the image and it gives the illusion of a sort of moving background if you like okay so now we've got a background sorted out let's get some sound um, I've already got the sound clip that I use there on the desktop so I'm just going to drag that in I've literally just taken that from GarageBand it's one of the built-in sound clips you get on a Mac um, and I use that, but you can go and check out sort of stock sound websites, or you can make your own if you want to be a bit more original. Um, there's not really a whole lot you need to do once you've dragged it in; it will clip it to the uh, length of your background automatically. But what I like to do is just make the sound fade out towards the end. So we're going to go to clip adjustments. Um, I mean audio adjustments rather, and then you've got these options here: fade in and fade out. We're going to leave fade in as it is, and fade out. We're going to change it to manual. I'm just going to turn it up to about one second. Hit done and let's listen. And you can see how it fades out at the end and that's pretty much exactly how I've got it in the intro of my videos. Yeah, that's sounding pretty good. So now that we've got the sound sorted, we're going to get to work and put the text over the top. Okay, so the last thing we need to do now is put the text over the top. And that's done with the text effect here in iMovie. So I'm going to click the Titles browser button and the one I use is this one here called Pull Focus. So I'm going to drag that in, put it right at the start of my clip, and it's in. And then I'm just going to, <coughs> excuse me, I'm just going to drag this to the same length for a seconds, and we'll see what that looks like. That's looking pretty good. I'm liking that. So I'm going to click on the title thing here. And then obviously you can go ahead and change the text to what you want here. So let's just get rid of that, get rid of all of that. I screencasts. Oops. Done. Now what you can do is change the font as well, which is obviously what I do. Now I use Cool Vertica in white. And that's pretty much it. Let's have a look at the final result. So guys, that's just a quick and easy way of making a video intro in iMovie 09. If you want to leave a video response with your own video intros that you've made for me to take a look at, that would be really cool. And until next time, take it easy.